He won his pro card also at the NPC event, and then a day later finds himself Olympia qualified after winning his pro debut. That is pretty cool. This last weekend in London was the final Olympia qualifying show for 2024. The Europa Pro handed out 11 Olympia qualifications, including, surprisingly, to one competitor who was an amateur when the weekend started. More on that to come. Full disclosure, I have a lot of anxiety right now for all the names I'm about to mispronounce, so let me just apologize to all of humanity in advance for this mess. Okay, so what will follow here are the official results and then my commentary on them. Of course, everything I say is just one dude's opinion. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments below. But first, a very special announcement. If you want more analysis and to go deeper, you can join my channel here on YouTube or click over to my new Patreon page. On those, I have already posted my live commentary from 10 of the categories at this show. That's 10 separate videos. I skip fitness only because I needed a break, sorry. All of them are unedited and in real time recorded during pre-judging. I'll be posting those commentary videos there for every pro show I watch going forward. This coming weekend will be the Titans Grand Prix in Anaheim. Links for everything are in the description below along with details on my coaching programs and online bodybuilding course offerings if you're interested in reading about those. Okay, let's tackle this in the order in which things were presented. Day one started off with men's open bodybuilding. For the record, this is the only category where finals were scored in addition to pre-judging. I think that's a bit lazy, but whatever. And it was a good thing that it was after pre-judging, I liked Bruno Santos for the win, but Andrea Presti, I felt, was coming on strong, and he actually beat Bruno by three points in pre-judging, finishing the early portion in first by a point over hometown favorite Lewis Breed. But then finals happened. Bruno scored a clean sweep with a perfect score of five, and even though the judges had him in third after pre-judging, behind Andrea and Lewis, he was able to eke out a two-point win and earn the Olympia qualification. Final scores were 17 for Bruno, 19 for Andrea, and 25 for Lewis. Next up, we had women's physique. No drama here, as the judges were in full agreement for the top four spots. Uh, Barbara Minaj from France was the clear winner here. She was the sharpest on stage in every pose, and I don't really think it was particularly close. Spots two through four could have been a bit more up in the air, I think. Uh, Nadine Phoenix from the UK took second. Manon Dudley from Canada took third in her women's physique debut after competing in five shows this year in figure. And Christy Graham took fourth in a category that went 20 deep when 24 hours prior she was an amateur. She won her pro card in the NPC event here in London on Friday and brought a ridiculously impressive package to the stage and it'll be fascinating to see where she goes down the road. Men's physique was next and this is a category where truly the third and fourth call outs were still stacked. It was hard to predict, but I give myself credit for immediately picking out Alessandro Cavagnola from Italy as being the guy to beat and ultimately no one did. He looked fantastic, and I feel he kind of ran away with it. Tunahan Guler from Turkey was second, and Adeyemi Oyemi from the UK was third. And another Alessandro C from Italy was fourth, this time Colacci. Women's bodybuilding was interesting. Nine competitors here, and I think Nadia Capitosto from Italy tied with Barbara Minaj in women's physique for the most drama-free win of the day. As soon as they hit that first group comparison lineup, I had Nadia pretty much first immediately, and then it was all about who was gunning for second. That ended up being Roshana Boswell from Deerfield, Illinois, with the Swede Irene Anderson third, and Jeannie Welker from Seattle in fourth. My opinion? I think Jeannie got hosed, and she should have been second. She got a couple of votes for third, but I would have had her higher. On to day two and men's wheelchair. Uh, I think very little needs to be said about how inspiring this category is, and it's become a little bit of a cliche to say that and then kind of leave it there. Uh, but if we really break down the three guys on stage, I had Blake Colleton as the easy winner in this category, and he did in fact take it. And this was a massive weekend, clearly, for Blake, because he arrived in London from his home in Australia as an amateur. So yeah, he won his pro card also at the NPC event, and then a day later finds himself Olympia qualified after winning his pro debut. That is pretty cool. The 212 guys were next. Some crazy physiques here, but two guys I think were head and shoulders above the rest. No pun intended. These guys are all short in case that flew over everyone's heads. Did it again. Oh, man. Musi Maluleki from South Africa and Radoslav Angolov from Bulgaria were really 
getting put through their paces by the judges. In the end, it was unanimous. But as I was watching, I kept going back and forth between the two. I think Radoslav just had the freakier shapes while still having a physique that kind of made sense in that it was completely ridiculous and still proportioned. But Musi had a freak level conditioning and it was maybe just a little bit more streamlined. For me, it was kind of a coin flip and either guy would have deserved it. But in the end, it was Musi edging out Radoslav for the win. Classic physique. We saw Julio Simoes from Brazil take the win after I joked in my commentary initially that he was dollar store sebum. Apologies, Julio. It's just a mustache joke. That's it. Uh, in my commentary, I was kind of torn between him and runner-up Adrian Cyronek from Poland. Leading into the final call-out, I just noted who was winning each pose between the two of them side by side, and I gave him all the Julio, except for abdominals and thighs where I thought Adrian had him beat. Coming in third was Jesus Rodriguez Sendra, who was probably the biggest and most dense guy in the group, but Julio and Adrian had the magical secret sauce known as aesthetics. Okay, y'all, I always call it like I see it. And in this case, that means I'm just going to say that the figure category at this show did not wildly impress me. It was just a bit weird and less consistent compared to the other categories. Sarah Kinvik from Sweden and Anna Boren from Ukraine were one and two respectively. Uh, both looked totally fine. Pro level physiques, but each one looked just a little bit off. I felt Nina Paulus from Germany had the most wow factor of anyone in the group, but the judges disagreed and put her third. And Marie Peterhans of Switzerland had crazy huge and shredded quads and great density overall, but just had incredibly awkward posing and also looked confused on stage at times, like it was her first show. It was a very weird class here. Quick sidebar, if you're digging this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what shows you wanna see going forward. I'm gonna hit the Olympia. We've got some options between then and now, however. So let me know what shows you're most looking forward to in the comments. In wellness, Camille Luz from Brazil took home first, and I felt very confident in her winning this class from a pretty early point on in the pre-judging round. Uh, Sandra Colorado Akal took second here with Lexi Oliver in third. It goes to show just how hard it is to judge this category also. Not only are they really looking for a level of development and conditioning that's like right in the Goldilocks zone, you know, not too much, but not too little. Uh, but also between second and third, there looks to be about, to me, like a six or seven inch height difference. And because of that, their physiques are so different as to almost be impossible to compare. Now, I'm not advocating for bringing in height classes to the IFBB, just outlining some of the challenges the judges face here. And finally, in bikini, this is where I hang my head in shame. It was at this point uh, where my commentary contained its most confident failure. So you can check that out if you want a good laugh at my expense. Uh, Jess Feeney of Ireland was the clear winner in my eyes, and I didn't really think it was close. So of course, she took second with Adriana Kasmarek of Poland winning the show and her Olympia qualification. I know it means a lot to all the winners, but I really love seeing people just absolutely lose their shit when they win. Seriously, it warms my heart. I truly mean that. Carrie Sexton from the UK took third and actually had a couple of fourth place votes, whereas I had her second over the actual winner, Adriana. So clearly I have no idea what I'm talking about with bikini, which I think qualifies me to be a judge because this is the category where the standards seem to be the most randomly applied from show to show. So there you go, results from all categories except fitness, but a quick shout out to Michaela Pavleova from Slovakia for acing both the judging and the routine rounds for a perfect score in the win. All right, what did you think of the Europa Pro? Besides the fact that it was long, <laughs> Did anyone else watch the whole thing or was it just me? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and be sure to check back next week and the week after that for more results.